ओके हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर चैनल कोड विद सन्नी एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट अ फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम प्रेटी परम्यूटेशंस ऑफ कोड वर्सेस राउंड 728 डिवीजन 2 इट्स ए टाइप सो इट विल बी वेरी इजी सो नॉट वेस्टिंग ऑन द टाइम ऑन ऑल दिस स्टेटमेंट्स आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू डिलीवर एज मच एज पॉसिबल इन द वेरी मच इजीयर वे टू एक्सप्लेन दिस प्रॉब्लम सो लेट्स मूव फर्दर ओके सो सपोज वी हैव अ सम एलिमेंट्स सम एरे एलिमेंट्स इट विल बी अ परम्यूटेशन इट विल बी गिवन सम एन and if you will focus on the test uh, that is focus on the inputs you, it will be n the number of cats and n cats in a line labeled from 1 to n okay so basically we will be given some permutations from 1 2 3 and it goes up to n and what we have to do yeah uh, finally for each test case a permutation with minimum total distance if there are multiple answers print any okay then what is the distance So uh, you need to just understand that you want to reorder themselves such that no cat is in the same place as before. Okay. So we will be have the position. We will have the positions of the cat as one, two, three, four, five. And let's say n is equal to six. We have the positions of cat in this position. Okay. And we want to reorder these positions such that the new and that let's say some new positions. It will have let's say six, five, four, three, two. One. This are this is the new positions, and if this is the new positions, then we need to find out the distance. What is the uh, distance of shifting? You can say six is shifted to this position, and if you focus on five is shifted to this position, and four is shifted to this one, and uh, again three is shifted to this one. The, so you need to find out the sum of the total uh, shifts. That is, uh, you need to find out the minimum total distance. and if if you have some minimum total distance you need to find out the permutation corresponding to that okay so how you are going to minimize the total distance so you what you are going to do you are going to swap this one that is the optimal way to provide the minimum as one distance one uh, swap this one so it will become 2 1 swap this one so it will become 4 3 so this is the minimum because the if you are shifting 3 to the new positions you are shifting it by 1 so cost is 1 and 4 to the left again cost is 1 you can we are going to also shift 5 and 6 so it will become 6 and 5 so it will be optimal when n is even what about when n will become odd when n will become odd you can see you will have some extra thing uh, let's say 7 also 5 6 7 then what you are going to do we are not going to just use the even shift yes we are going to use the even shift but uh, in case of n is odd we will try to use the last two shifts that is sorry the last three shifts and we will try to do one thing that is uh, we uh, one uh, one thing our aim is to like provide a certain permutation such that the previous one and the current one should not be like should not be matching and also for every number that is uh, you need to do one thing like uh, you want to reorder them so that no cat is in the same place as before okay so the new position i will pick up put this 7 and i will put this 5 and i will put this 6 you can see and this is going to be optimal you are going to give two distances to 7 one distances to 5 and one distances to 6 one you can see this one this is going to be optimal and this is the uh, correct way to provide the minimum distance and this is your answer as the permutation corresponding to that minimum distance so overall when n is even just swap the adjacent twos and when n is odd swap the adjacent twos and uh, just uh, take care that the last three must be permuted in some good way and what is that good way and this is your correct answer that is bring the n nth element to the first then it will bring the n minus 2 then n minus 1th element so let me head over to the code to provide you the nice implementation if n is odd you can see i will just traverse up to n minus 3 and each time i will increment by 2 now i will print i plus 1 and i okay and finally i will print n n minus 2 and n minus 1 this will minimize my distance and the permutation corresponding to this will be printed in this fashion and when n is even you just have to do one thing print i plus 1 and i the swap the adjacent the adjacent numbers of the permutation finally print with a new line okay so this is your answer so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and do subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video